John runs a business. Things have been going well, and he's got quite a few employees now. John uses BrightPay to manage his payroll. He likes how it takes very little time each period to enter amounts, email payslips, and send an RTI submission to HMRC. One day, John gets a letter from the pensions regulator, letting him know that he'll need to enrol his eligible employees into a qualifying pension scheme next January. John enters the automatic enrolment staging date from the letter into BrightPay. He decides to set up a pension scheme with the National Employment Savings Trust. He follows the instructions on the Nest website and adds the Nest scheme to BrightPay. In January, John opens up his payroll and BrightPay tells him that it's now time to enrol. BrightPay has assessed each of John's employees and tells him exactly what he needs to do. Most of John's employees must be automatically enrolled. John enrolls them into his Nest scheme and uses BrightPay to produce a letter for each employee that explains what's going on. Some of John's employees do not get enrolled automatically, but have the option to do so. Using BrightPay, John also produces letters for these employees, setting out their options. Some of them decide to opt in, some of them don't. Even John's part-time cleaner is entitled to join a pension scheme. John's automatic enrolment duties are now done. BrightPay has set up all his deductions and submitting his contributions information to Nest is a simple task each period. John has noticed how easy BrightPay makes it to handle employees who wish to opt out of auto-enrollment or to cease their contributions. John was prepared in advance and so was able to complete the process in time for his January payroll. If he hadn't been as organised, or if any issues had come up, John would have been able to postpone automatic enrolment for up to three months while he straightened things out. John gets back to running his business. It's just another payday with BrightPay.